Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on YouTube manometer. So first I will read what is the given problem. A YouTube manometer is used to measure the pressure of water in a pipeline which is in excess of atmospheric pressure. The right limb of manometer contains mercury and is open to atmosphere. The contact between water and mercury is in the left limb. Determine the pressure of water in the main line if the difference in level of mercury in the limb of the U-tube is 10 cm and the free surface of mercury is in level with the center of pipe. If the pressure of water in pipeline is reduced to 9810 Newton per meter square, calculate the new difference in the level of mercury. Sketch the arrangements in both the cases. So this was the given question. Now let us first understand how to construct the YouTube manometer as per the given data. Now here it is given that the difference in between the mercury level is 10 cm. So we have to show that and in the left limb there is the water as well as mercury is there. So if we observe this is the left limb and this is the right limb. So in the right limb we have to show the mercury up to the level of the center of pipe. So I have shown here the center of pipe is A and from the center of pipe here is the level of mercury in the right limb and the difference in between the mercury levels in between these two limbs is 10 cm that's why we have to show this. Now we will move for the given data. So what is the given data? So what is the density of water? So density of water rho 1 is equal to 1000 kilogram per meter cube. So here we will consider this water, we will consider the suffix 1 for the water I have shown here with the help of red marker and for the mercury we will consider the suffix 2. So density of water rho 1 is equal to 1000 kilogram per meter cube. Then specific gravity of mercury so the specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 so we can calculate here the density of mercury that is rho 2 is equal to this 13.6 into 1000 then difference in mercury level so now we are talking about the mercury so we will use here the suffix 2 so difference in mercury level is 10 centimeter and the standard unit is meter so we will say here 0 0.1 meter then the height of fluid in the left limb so if we observe this mercury level and the center of pipe are at the same level so height of the fluid or water in the left limb is also equal to 10 centimeter so which is equal to 0 0.1 meter so this is the data now we have to find out what is the pressure at the center a so how to calculate now if we observe we have to consider here in both these limbs what is the mercury level so here is the point b and here is the point c so if we observe here at pressure at this point b which is equal to pressure at this point c so we have to define the, what is the pressure at this point b and what is the pressure at this point c so we will consider here pa that is the pressure of water in the pipe at the center now from the diagram pressure at b which is equal to pressure at c so what how to define this pressure at b so if we observe this diagram the pressure at this pipe center A plus pressure due to height H1 because there is the water up for this height H1. So we have to add these two pressures there which is equal to pressure at B. And what is the pressure at C? So if we observe the pressure at point D. Now this point D is open to atmosphere. So what is the pressure at this point D? So we will consider here as a zero because it is open to atmosphere plus pressure due to H2. Now here the height of mercury is H2 that we have to add. 
so again we will write here so pressure at a we will consider here p a which we have to calculate plus pressure due to h1 so this pressure of water due to h1 how to calculate so pressure is equal to rho 1 g h1 rho 1 means density g that is 9.81 and h1 that means this height we have to take then which is equal to now pressure at this point D 0 plus pressure due to H2 that is here is the mercury in the right limb. So we have to consider here the suffix 2 that is rho 2 G H2. So if we put here the value then we will calculate here P A that is pressure at this point A and which is equal to 12360.6 Newton per meter square and this is the answer. Now we will move for the second part of this question where the pressure at the center of pipe is given that is 9810 Newton per meter square. So according to this now we have to solve the question. So what is happening to the level of mercury as well as this fluid when the pressure is getting decreased. So if we observe here to balance the pressure in the left hand side limb the level of mercury is getting increased so what is happening as the amount of mercury is constant so as the level of mercury is getting increased in the left hand side limb then at the same time the same level is getting decreased in this right hand side limb so i have shown here with the help of dash so we will consider the x centimeter is the level of mercury is getting increased to balance this pressure so from b to b dash this level is getting increased and here in the right hand side limb at the same time the level of mercury is getting decreased from this d to d dash that is the same level so we have to show here as a x so now according to the new diagram so now what is the new level that is here for this b dash so again we have to consider the datum line from this b dash so b dash c dash is our new datum line as the pressure is getting decreased so we will balance this pressure so how to balance so we can say that pressure at b dash which is equal to pressure at c dash so how to define the pressure at b dash now if we observe that is the pressure at this pipe center a plus pressure due to height h1 that is the pressure at this b dash which is equal to now pressure at this point d dash now point d dash is open to atmosphere plus pressure due to height h2 so above this point c dash there is the height of mercury we will consider here as a h2 now again we have to define this h1 and h2 now we know that from the center of pipe to this previous datum line bc our height is 10 centimeters that is given now what is the level of mercury is getting increased that is x so according to this new diagram what is the height h1 that is the height of this fluid so i have shown here with the help of red marker that we have to define this new height so how to define this 10 minus x that is equal to h1 so we have to write here h1 is equal to 10 minus x centimeter because x is also the centimeter that is the level of mercury that is getting increased now we have to define the height h2 so height h2 means what from this point c dash to this d dash what is the total distance that we have to define so c dash to d dash how to define now we know that b to b dash which is equal to c to c dash which is equal to x so if we observe from this point c to d the total height is 10 centimeter and this 10 minus 2 x that is equal to this height h2 which is equal to c dash to d dash so we have to define h2 is equal to 10 minus 2 x centimeter now according to this new height h1 and h2 now we have to solve the problem so p a that is the pressure at point a plus what is the pressure due to h1 that is rho 1 g h1 now we have to put here h1 as a 10 minus x which is equal to pressure at point d dash plus pressure due to h2 so here p d dash plus rho 2 g h2 now we will put here h2 is equal to 10 minus 2 x so when we put all these values so here is the calculation 
so pm is 9810 that we have to put now here if we observe in this equation only unknown term is x so we have to solve this so how to solve now p d dash that is pressure at point d dash we have to consider here 0 so again if we observe we have to multiply this term 1000 into 9.81 and here 10 minus x centimeter is there now when we consider the calculation we have to consider here the standard unit so for the whole 10 minus x we have to divide it by 100 to convert it into the meter and here is also 10 minus 2x divided by 100 so when we calculate this we have to take here 1000 into 9.81 and then this term we have to multiply here that is we have to split this term that is 10 by 100 minus x by 100 and then we have to solve this and we have to add here 9810 in the same way we have to split this term 10 by 100 minus 2x by 100 and then we have to multiply with this calculation or this multiplication now if we solve we will get the value of x is equal to 0 0.992 so this x that we have considered in centimeter so x is equal to centimeter now what is the question that is what is the new di new difference of mercury level so what is the new difference of mercury level that is this distance from this datum line b dash c dash to this d dash that is new difference that means here h2 which is equal to 10 minus 2x so when we put the value of x we will get the answer 10 minus 2x means 8.016 centimeter and this is the answer